纸盒里装着浅褐色的鸡蛋，一打要价将近十美元，等于一颗鸡蛋就将近台币二十七块钱。Our eggs are typically the most expensive on the shelf, and that's not something we shy away from. It's something that you know we hold out as indicative of what it takes we think to produce eggs the way we believe they should be produced. And we found that a lot of consumers are willing to pay that high price because they're looking for something that's pretty rare in this country, which is food. From a food system that they can really trust. 价格高的吓人，就是因为这个品牌的鸡蛋号称都是利用放牧，每天在农场开心跑步的母鸡所生下来的蛋。And we also found out that when you get them out of the cage and put them on a pasture, that they were happy. They make a different sound, and also, magically, they produced a much better egg, which I was really excited about because the yolks were different. The They, they were thicker, they were darker orange, and they tasted so much better, which was a magic combination. 业者跟三百多间小型家族牧场合作，特别挑选美国中部所谓的放牧蛋，适合机制在户外生活的地区进行放牧。Pasture belt is an area of the United States that we've found over trial and error over time, where the temperatures and the rainfall meet a standard that we have. Where the birds can be outside year-round. 为了让这些母鸡能够开心奔跑，业者要求农园必须要给每只鸡一百零八平方英尺，相当于三平的户外活动空间，因此成本可想而知。旗下最贵的恢复农场蛋，不只是关注这些鸡只的饲养，甚至连土壤的生态都考虑进去。They really are using new ways, or or some might say very traditional ways of farming that work to improve soil health. Through reducing the amount of disturbance of the soil, the use of cover crops to ensure soil health and soil stability,、uh, and you can actually measure it in the bacteria content and the water holding capacity of the soil. It's a wonderful kind of back to the future approach that we think is increasingly becoming the the dominant way of farming in this country. 这样高成本生产出来的高价鸡蛋，不但没有吓跑消费者，更是从二零一五年以来，每年的销售额以百分之三十五的超高成长率快速增加。预计今年将高达四点六五亿美元。就靠着人道饲养产下来的鸡蛋，甚至在二零二零年在纽约交易所上市。We've grown to become the second largest egg brand in the United States at retail, and yet we're still only maybe five or six percent of U.S. retail sales of eggs. And so it feels like we're still very much the startup in that space, and we have a lot of runway in, in to continue to expand and grow and bring our products to more and more households. At the same time, our purpose. Is to improve the lives of people, animals, and the planet through food. 业者强调，盈利不是以公司的优先做考量，同时还思考怎么为消费者还有动物，甚至整个环境获取最大利益。So the profits are critical, but they're not maybe the unifying theme that motivates people to get on board. There needs to be a higher purpose than that, and for us, that's improving the lives of people, animals. And the planet through food. 业者认为，饮食是与自己身体最亲密的互动。其实，很多消费者愿意多花一点钱来购买自己信任的食物。打破人道放养的农产品只能少量生产，无法挤进资本市场的迷思，创造数亿美元的金蛋商机。TVB 新闻综合报道。